taking on the Arkansas State Red Wolves. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Red Wolves will put total leather and will get started. Here he comes with the return. He's got great speed. Oh, what vision. Can they catch him? Just barely able to keep him from housing it on that one. What a nice return. This dude is absolute electricity when he gets the ball in his hands. So UL Monroe's return team has set them up and put them in business for this first drive. And here comes the quarterback. And one thing you know for sure, with this team, as he goes, so goes the offense. And he's a big-time talent, Reese. This guy can hurt you in a multitude of ways, throwing and running the football. He's going to have to be dialed in, though, because this defense is going to give him a lot of different looks. It's really important mentally this QB is on his game. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big game, but makes life really easy on me on second down. Tackled, but he has a first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They're going to ride this running back. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Little touch pass to the receiver. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch. So pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put that push passes <laughs> when I was playing. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Warhawks! I really love that first drive by the offense. It always seemed like they were just one step ahead of the D. And a nice job there down close. When the defense knew they were going to run the football, being more physical, running it in on third down to get the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Arkansas State Red Wolves offense will go to work for the first time today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Hand off from the gun. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. 
They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. To the air. It's Rayner. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the right. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. When you run those routes, those curl routes just like that, those DBs are going to break when you go to throw the football. So you better put that thing on a line. And the QB did there. Put it on a line. Great job. Great catch. First down. Going up top on first down. Uncorks it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Caught in the backfield, it's Jackson. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus, and the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Red Wolves line up to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Blasted as he lets it go. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. And the incompletion brings up a second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Pushes forward for three out to the 13. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? The Warhawks will punt this one away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He gets a block. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires into traffic. Picked off. Got room on the return. The 40. He's at the 30. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. I love defenses that make big plays, that understand what they're trying to get from the offense, understand how to attack it, jump some of these routes, make these interceptions. And then not only that, when you get the football, try to do something with it. Don't slide down. Don't take a knee. Try to bring that thing back to the house. You set your offense up for great field position. First down here for the offense. He'll start this drive firing. Caught over the middle, it's Bailey. And they pick up just a few on that completion. 
A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And the Warhawks have pushed it inside the 20. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. He started in a great spot, but now facing a third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. It is good. And now the lead is extended a little far. You've got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field goal. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that route. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Rainer. Makes his connection. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, this little guy is going to be difficult for any DB to cover, especially on these slant throws, because he gets out of his break and he explodes off the line of scrimmage so quickly. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Pulls it and fires to the left. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Quarterbacks love the short passing game early in games because it really helps them get into a rhythm. So a nice job by the offensive coordinator giving his quarterback an easy throw, something he can see, and something that he knows he can complete. Second down coming up. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Red Wolves have their offense in high gear. To the air on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Stevenson. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. After that last completion, it's second down. Running back goes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Third and short from the 49 is this four down territory. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's got enough to move the chains and they'll spot it at the 47. That is how it's done on third down and short. And no doubt about it, an easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time the offense got the better of the D, easily picked that up. 
And the Red Wolves have it with a first and ten. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. When we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Catch in the middle, it's Jackson. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Snags it. And that's where they'll mark him, but a very productive play, and they'll move the chains. Love the grab just past the first down line to allow the drive to continue. So that's a nice play by the QB and receiver there. The Red Wolves trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Third and goal, where the strong come through. To the air, it's Rayner. Moves around to clear up the vision. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Red Wolves! Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UL Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here today. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. The RPO, fire complete to the left. Tackled at the 29. Let's give him five on that one. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. Now, this is the way to come out of the gate and set the tone back and forth and already inside a minute to go in the first. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Uh, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. 
quickly complete. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry on that one. Here on third down for this offense. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. And they've swapped into the field and we'll get it going in the second. Here on third down. Looking to throw for it. Got it in the middle, it's Bailey. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Flag flies in as this one falls incomplete. We'll see who it's on. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Grabbed behind the line, it's Hardy. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. The Warhawks will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score your defense, does your part. Jesse, this offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. Looking to throw, it's Rayner. Using the quick game. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. You know, this linebacker is a special player because not only is he good making tackles in the open field, this guy can cover. And you saw a great example of it with that running back. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. And that one's incomplete. And the Red Wolves will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. 
No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Got three on first down at second and seven. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. Pulls and fired complete. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. And the Warhawks have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. After the misconnection, it's second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Bailey. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. It's third down, and the line to gain is the 36. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. The Warhawks send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin them deep. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Now on second down. They'll run it. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. All right, guys, that's not a home run type play, but he did enough there to keep the chains moving. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. The pull and throw off the RPO. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Now on second down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Third and short now from their own 48. Got his man quickly. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. The Red Wolves are rolling down the field. The holds and fires complete to the right. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. 
And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Scanning the field, it's Rayner. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Well, I think the ball just got on the receiver so quickly. He took his time working his route, and by the time he got his head around, the ball was already there, and he just wasn't able to stab it. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Keeps looking downfield. He'll pull it down and run. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. QBs do a really good job of feeling pressure and trying to get away from it. You can see he wants to, but there's nowhere to go. Great job by the defense getting him to the ground for no gain. And the Red Wolves will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Trying to find his man on first down. Trying to escape and get it himself. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Really good job by the defense getting to the quarterback and getting him on the ground for no gain. It's tough. Once you get there and get pressure, it's so hard to get these guys on the ground because they're elusive. Really good job wrapping them up and getting to the ground. On second down, just keeps firing. Got it set up on the outside. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Plays like that put just a second of hesitation in the defense to make sure, and they're able to take advantage here. And they use the great timing with this call, right? Like, you can't call this play all the time, but you want to catch them when they're a little bit aggressive, not thinking about it. Nice job slipping the screen behind them, making the easy catch, and then getting downfield, picking up some extra yards. Caught on the outside, it's Wells. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. Looking at a second and short now. Out of the gun, the inside give. And he's brought down after a nice game. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. And that play is essentially like a jet sweep, right? This offense is going to run the football conventionally. They'll do it between the tackles. They'll do it outside. But there's a lot of different creative ways they can get their playmakers the football in the running game. And I think that was an example of what you saw right there. So after the first down run, here's second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They make the stop at the 33, but 10 yards on that play and a first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you've got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Makes the grab down the middle. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. And the Warhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. How about that determined run inside the red zone? He's got six. It's down at the 12. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. 
Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. Into the hallelujah land. Touchdown, UL Monroe. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. So it's an 80-yard drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. Here's the return from inside his 10. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second along from the 21. Back to throw, it's Rayner. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trust in your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. On first down, here comes this offense. He wants to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Bailey. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. This is a great way to control tempo, control the game, feeding the tight end, and they've done it beautifully here in the first half. You find great matchups, Reese. I mean, you think about it. He's too good to be covered by linebackers. You like your matchup versus a safety, so zone or man, whatever you want to do, I'm going to find the big fella because he's going to be open most of the time. And there's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open, throw it out of bounds. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They'll try to get it through the air. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen in behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Looking to go up top on first down. Can hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. You know, that's a throw in the drag route where you just got to have patience. You got to let your wide receiver clear through all the bodies in the middle of the field. They just couldn't hook up on that one. The incompletion on first down. Now they face a second and 10 from the 31. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Wells. 
They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Caught near the sticks. It's Wells. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Well, the defense just has not had an answer for this guy working out of the slot so far. Man coverage has been tricky. He's beaten them in zone. You might want to think about bracketing him where you've got a defender on the outside and the inside to see if you can force the quarterback to go somewhere else with the ball. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. He'll try it again on second and ten. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. So with only seconds left in the half, here comes the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, it is hard to beat Jonesboro when that town is buzzing as it is today. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Centennial Bank Stadium. The Warhawks will kick it away to crank up the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. Football is about adjustments. First half, line up, pound strong, pound strong. Second half, great job. You're going to move your defense and shift to try to account for that? Boom, we'll pull some guys and run a counter backside and have some success. The Red Wolves in the hurry up. Quick strike complete. Stopped after making the catch. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Looking for a man. It's Rayner. Fires to the big fella. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out quickly. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. 
Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. Quick tempo here for the offense. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offense trying to catch him off guard a little bit, running that draw play, but the defense wasn't fooled. Everybody stayed in their lane, and they're able to get the tackle for loss. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Jackson. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Hey, QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. Dropping back, it's Rayner gets it out fast they'll wrestle him down just short of the first down I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards yeah I'm going to take big shots down the field too but don't forget it's easier to pick up second and five third and five than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, running back gets to give. And the Red Wolves get the first down. Well, they needed two yards for that first down. The running back doing just enough to make sure he keeps this drive alive. The Red Wolves moving quickly to the line. the deflection missed a great chance to force the turnover instead it'll be second down i love the quick decision that qb made there on that rpo knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast he just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward and here comes the offense on second down after the incompletion back to the passing game quickly out to the tight end He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. Back to throw, it's Rayner. Fires on the move. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Almost took it all the way there, but it's a huge gain, and they're set up with a first and goal. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the Red Wolves line it up with a first and goal. The aerial assault continues. Fires to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Well, one of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not, so being on the same page, and then having a guy that can go get him. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play, just like he did right there for six points. On to attempt the try. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. 
and they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back looking for help. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Uel Monroe has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They've got a first and ten at the 34. Grab behind the line. It's Wells. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. This quarterback right now is in a groove. And he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, running back on the move. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Bully ball on third and short. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. And the Warhawks look to keep this drive humming. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Wells. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. That last completion sets him up on second down. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second. Third and short from the 49 is this four-down territory. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught near the sticks, it's cold. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Comes out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. Well, there's a great example of the receiver working back to his quarterback on the curl route against man coverage. He drives back towards the football, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The Warhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. To the ground with the back. Nice move to pick up yardage. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse, showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. It's first down from the 11. He's going to pass. Going for six. And he wanted to get the score right there, but it falls incomplete. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. That's one he'd like to have back. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds.
Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Looking for the score! And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Here's the handoff. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Getting some heat. And it's incomplete on third down. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you. So the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Red Wolves will try to pin them back with the punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Bringing it back, it's Curry. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. He's got his man. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And now on second down for this offense. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. It's a pickup of five and enough for a first down. Offensively, and are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time. And you saw all of it on that in route. And the Warhawks want to move quickly. Caught in the backfield, it's Bailey. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. The Warhawks get enough for the first down. 
Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Warhawks will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Warhawks. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. They'll line up to go for two. Powers forward. He gets into the end zone for the two, and that is big. It's now a three-possession game. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. But I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on it. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They'll run play action. He's going to throw deep right side. Oh, that slithered right through his fingers and would have been his second interception of the game. Instead, it's fourth down. Ooh, that's one of those where you're breathing a big sigh of relief. That ball could have been intercepted and worse could have been intercepted and housed but offense caught a little bit of a break nice play by the defense but the offense glad to punt in this situation if they want to punt slips through the line makes the tackle really strong disciplined job and now we have one period to play and talk about spreading the ball around everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. UL Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got a lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Hard running there. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And now on third down after that last run. Trying play action. Caught close to the marker. It's Hardy. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. 
And with the lead late in this game, how about going play action? The run fake just freezes the defenders for a split second, helps make the throw a whole lot easier. They get the first down and tick, 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 tick. The Warhawks will snap it on first and 10. From the shotgun, the inside give. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. From the gun, the running back has it. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Defense trying to come up with a stop on third and short from the 37. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. They call it a coffin corner kick for a reason, and you really can't do it any better than that. He puts that thing out of bounds right around the goal line. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. Power football with the run. Gets a nice surge and crosses the five to the six-yard line, a pickup of three. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To throw, it's Rainer. Throwing right. Incomplete. And he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic and fortunate to get it back. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. This dude is putting in work out of the slot, and he is just wearing out this defense. Man, you see it, Reese, in football. They just, these slot guys are so quick, so athletic. You back them up off the football so you can't get hands on them, and you just find ways to continue to get him the football. He's making plays, so I'm going to continue to throw it his way. They'll throw it on first down. Quickly complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Let's see what they've got on second down. They keep attacking through the air. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. On fourth down, looking to pass. They got him. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on downs. Well, at this point of the game, in the second half, down three possessions, you're not punting anymore, right? Every fourth down you're going to be going for, regardless of where you are in the field. The problem is... Defense knows it, too, so they're going to play call accordingly. That time, they had a better play call on. They execute. It's just been that kind of day for this offense. 
off the play fake on first down to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. After the misfire now on second down. Caught over the middle, it's Bailey. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Wells. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Second down, coming up on this red zone opportunity. He wants it all. And it's a touchdown, but hold on just a second. We'll have to see what the flag's about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and long, he has to throw for it. That's a fly. Touchdown, UL Monroe. And the pummeling has started. The assault enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. Wants to throw on first down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Unloads it left. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. There's just so much chemistry between this quarterback and his receiver. And you saw it right there, down the perimeter, trying to work the boundary. Just put it somewhere near him. He'll catch it. He'll get a foot down and help out his offense. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. 
This is an offense that has skill. They've got speed, and because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. They've got to put the clamps down. And the Red Wolves with the first and ten. The run from the shotgun. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Takes a handoff. It's Wallace. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Using the quick game. Touchdown, Red Bulls! A great catch and run for six. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. Looking for a man. It's Rayner. Unloads to the wideout. And his throw is incomplete. Well, head coach obviously decided it was best to go for two points right there. They didn't get it, and you just wonder if chasing the points is going to hurt this team later in the game. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. They go to the ground. Keeps the legs moving. Here it is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Really nice awareness by that guy, too, because it looked as though his momentum might carry him out of bounds, might stop the clock, but he knew to get down. He was fighting to make sure he fell down in the field to play, and as a result, the clock keeps ticking. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Bailey. And he might be known for one fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Nice quick throw there. And it's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the game. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. And the Warhawks get enough for the first down. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense. Now, they got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. The Warhawks are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Pull down after a gain of five. It's at the nine-yard line. 
think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing it. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, the ground game. Smashes ahead. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. And the Warhawks have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Warhawks! And the stomping has commenced. That one might have put the finishing touches on this game. This one is over. Game, set, match. The defense had a chance to maybe kind of keep their team in it, but the offense said, take it to the locker room. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A pretty short drive there, covering 38 yards. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. Looking downfield, it's Rayner. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joes, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent today. And as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe it's something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Almost had the completion, just missed it. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together, run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man, dialed in. You could tell they were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. Despite failing earlier on fourth down, they will try again here. Here's a throw downfield late. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. The Red Wolves will have it first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. He's got an open man. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. They'll use a timeout with 26 seconds left on the clock. Down to the 18-yard line, it's first and 10. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. It's Pater late in the game. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. Ready to try the point after. Smashes it through for the PAT. So that scoring drive took only six plays. 
And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. So they got the score. The lead is still 18 as they prepare to kick off. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. 